Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn about the questions, how much and how many. In Spanish, these two phrases are very easy. You simply use cuánto or cuántos. Here are some examples. ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? Pretty easy in Spanish, isn't it? But what about English? Well, in English, to ask cuánto o cuántos, you need two words. How much or how many? Okay, so the obvious question is, when do we use how much and when do we use how many? Let's first start with how much. We use how much with nouns that are not countable. What does that mean, a non-countable noun? Well, it means that if you try and put a number in front of the noun, it doesn't really make any sense. For example, money. Yes, you can count money, but only the bills and coins. You cannot say, I have three money. That does not make any sense. You have to say, I have money, because you cannot count the word money. So, to ask about money, you have to say, how much money do you have? Because, once again, you cannot count money. Here are some more examples. How much water is in the ocean? How much do you love me? How much light is in the room? We use how much because you cannot count water, love, or light. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice how much. Good. Now let's look at how many. We use how many to ask about things we can count. Here are some examples. How many students are in the library? How many cities are there in Colombia? How many apples are on the table? As you can see from the examples above, we can count students, cities, and apples. So we use how many? When we want to ask about the number of something. Another way to understand how much and how many is like this. If you are going to use cuánto in Spanish, you will use how much in English. And if you are going to say cuántos in Spanish, you will usually say how many in English. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice using how many. Following that, you will have an activity using both how much and how many. Good luck! Congratulations! Now you know the difference between how much and how many. I will see you back here for the next lesson. Good luck!